All right, today's today. The time is when you're watching this, and this is another Awakened Chaos Era video. Am I back? I'm, up. I'm back. For those who didn't know, uh, Grandma, 90 years old, passed, went to Jamaica. Pay my respects, you know. She did raise me part of the way. Um, it was fun. Um, and decided to stay in Jamaica for a couple of weeks. Uh, because if you've ever been to Jamaica, it is a hard place to live. I mean, leave, not live. It's a hard place to leave because it's actually fun as hell. I'm just telling you right now. Went down for the sadness, stayed for the fun, and I still had a great time uh, paying tribute to my grandmother. She said before she lived till 90, so it was a good life. And it's great to see all my cousins, family, friends from many, many years ago and reminisce on stories here, there, and everything else. And just to travel and see everything. So it was great. Um, it was hard to play the game because where I was is the country part of Jamaica. Trust me, you're never, you're not, you're not going to go there. But it's country, country. So reception was very low because the house that we have sits below like the plane, so cell phone signal go over us. So if in order for me to get any decent signal, I have to go to a higher elevation just to get a uh, signal. But I still maintain from time to time to where I could play, couldn't farm, but I could play and see what's up, right? So I still did get uh, uh, the new heroes, right? Still got this little fella right here. He's gonna be coming in a video soon. Pairs very well with Lydia. Pairs very well with Lydia. Pairs very well with Lydia. So if you have a Lydia, this is the guy that needs to be with Lydia at all times. They are hand in hand buddies. Okay, he is glyphed out. He is maxed uh, six star. I mean six level sixty. He just did never receive. The, he never received the gear. I'm talking about. I ain't never put a gear on him. So that video is gonna come about what he could do and everything else like that. But reading his skills. He definitely pairs with Lydia because he does the attack down. And as you can see, my Lydia is finally able to do good things because she is now ascended. She is A5, ascended 5. That means that she can now dodge better. And with that accuracy down, we're going to be in a good mode. I did get also Godfrey. Uh, I think I tried him out one time. Um... Once again, with the reception being what it was, he didn't get a fair shake. Now that I'm back in the town, I am able to do more testing on Godfrey and show you in the best light where you could use him. Um, Everybody else is still everybody else. So nothing's extraordinary. But we are going to talk today about uh, Queen of Tide. We are going to talk about Queen of Tide. I don't know if what you considered a speed team or not. So I'm going to show you what my team is. This team is 90%. It's 90% because Hewlin, we're going we're gonna to go into it. All right, so let's go into the stats. So here's Marion Shadowblood. Marion Shadowblood is a unique rune character. You can't rune her so much damage and so much little HP that the boss frees her, right? You need the boss to freeze that Lux. So I'm sure somebody smarter than me know the formula of why the boss will freeze that Lux over her. Cause there's times where I had her at a tremendous ruined quality and the boss will freeze her all the time. So I had to nerf her a little bit, put more HP on her in order for the boss to actually hit up that Lux versus my Mary and Shadow Blood. But this is her stats. She is on a curse set. So curse set is the best set for Marion Shadowblood, hands down. Curse set and your speed need to be over 160 for Marion Shadowblood. The higher your speed, in case you don't know, her skill, her trait is the higher her speed, the more she gets to trigger her trait. So you definitely need her on a curse set. And you definitely need her on a um, high speed. A stun set 
can work with her if you're gonna be able to go in with your you know joint attack and stun the enemy but for now a curse set is one of the best set for marion shadow blood one of the best all right that's her then we have zat lux this will work on our way back even death that Lux need to be the fastest person on your team. That that's really it. He needs to be the fastest person. Don't forget, Zat Lux only needs seventy percent crit rate. You know that's all he needs is seventy percent crit rate. So crit damage and crit attack is decent enough to clear the wave. I don't want you to invest heavily into Zat Lux. Is he good in other areas? Yeah, but if you first start the game, he's pretty good. But as the game progress. He just don't do the damage you need unless he kills. If he does not kill, he doesn't do the damage. So, in order for you to have a good Zatlux, your Zatlux need to be the last person to move on your team. A good Zatlux requires him to be the last person to move on your team. But when doing speed runs in dungeon, your Zatlux and speed top, I mean Queen of Tide needs to be the fastest. So unless you're gonna do two Zatlux. One for Queen of Tide and one for everything else. Just do a Queen of Tide, Zat Lux, and then use your other monsters for everything else. But that's his stats right here. He's on whatever I found. This this is what I got. Alright, this is what I got. Then we have Santez. My suffering has no end. Santez. Let's go her, her complete stat. Santez. Oh, Santez. As you can see, Santez got a lot of HP. And Santez got a modest crit damage. And her accuracy, her focus is pretty dope. This is a well-built Santez. For those out there, it's a well-built Santez. Her gear is on curse set. Giving her enough room to actually put up some more defense. Because defense let her survive a lot longer. So she's on HP, HP, defense. Yes, I could put an HP slot here and then she have a whole lot of HP. But that HP mean nothing without that defense. I'm sorry, just it just work out that way. And the rest of the stats is just focus with a lot of HP in it. As you can see, HP in the sub stat. I wish I could do more defense. The higher the defense, the more she could survive this boss run and we good to go and last but not least the pain in my the side shall crumble and the guy from the box penhead little brother healing healings healings yeah healings oh my gosh i have tried to get this guy so many different ways i have put him in the revival set and i have put him in the What's these chests called? I have put him in Dragon Scale. I have put him in in the Revival. I have put him in Terra. And this dude just seem he's he's not a high tier unit, so you can't be too mad at him. I finally settled down on Curse. I finally settled on Curse because I need his skill one to proc. The problem with a skill one is there's only an 80% chance to do unhealable. Only 80% chance. And that makes a difference in your run. Because if he does not do that unhealable, the first time the boss get that first heal, your run has a high percent chance of failing at the current stat. Now, you could have your healing with better stat, with better HP, Better defense, better focus. Some of y'all out there have one. I just got frustrated. Just keep re-ruling this dude to where this got on him. It worked. And I was like, it worked. It worked great. And I'm happy I'm not twinkling, uh, tinkering with him no more. I, I just couldn't. I, there's room for improvement. I could definitely put some more defense on him to where he could survive a little bit more. I could increase his HP. I could increase some more defense on him. Just to give him some more survivability. But it works right now, right? It works for now. So let's go to the run. Enough talking. Almost 10 minutes into the video. The death spiral has begun! 
All right, let's go. So, that let's clear the way. So far, so good on speed. Sanchez got the green bubble for living. Don't forget, we do not have healers on the team, so all the spells that I got is healing and survivability. See, with... Alright, so he has no positive effect. So, on his next turn, we need healing to provide heal block. And he had that curse with a proc, we would have been in a good position, but it didn't. Okay, unhealable. Once unhealable is up, the run is saved. We're going to have two more runs of this, and one of them he's not going to proc, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Also, Marion Shadow Blood is just a monster. She is. She can heal herself. She could do major damage. She's just phenomenal. Look at this. You're not concerned about human dying at this time because what else was he gonna do? He was gonna actually slow down your time. What I mean by slow down your time is for every turn he takes, that's more ticks added to your, your time. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's look at the time. <laughs> Pinhead little brother. Pinhead little brother. 149. Is that considered a speed or not? Put in the comment section. Let me know. Is it considered speed? Should it be lower? Should it be lower? Is it fine? It's sub two minutes, so sub two minutes should be speed, right? It's not like we have a plethora of heroes that could do what everybody on this team could do, right? A heal block, no positive effect unit, there's only two. There's only two. The other one can be used, but requires you to not have speed over 145. Because the boss needs to take his first turn first. And then you're safe. If you if you go first, you're screwed. There we go. I'm gonna do one more after this one, just to make sure that I'm not you know pulling a wool over your eyes, and that that this actually is stable. As I said before, up to ninety percent because if healing does not heal. You're screwed. He survived. Yay. Darkness and he took the green bubble. <laughs> Mary Shadow Blood is phenomenal. She just is. She she she's just that great. She is just that great. If you already got all the units that you need to have to solve, save your uh, thing because I, I think that there's going to be a new character coming out soon. So save up, save up, save up. So I said before, there are units in beta that has not been released yet. So we know they already have them. They already have them ready to go. They're just stagnating their release date. So there's some good ones out there. They might have got reworked. You know, they might have got reworked because a lot of units did get reworked. We're looking for that heal block. The healing, we're looking for that heal block. Is that heal block up there already? No heal block is up, and we need it. There we go. And this is why we put them on curse. And that should do it. Once the heal block is up, that's an easy peasy, lemon peasy type game. 143. Okay. I could seem to go down to 120 before.
it took Santa basically going ham and proccing her curse set all the time for that to happen, but we're not... See, look, why would you put the shield of mercy on somebody that already have the shield of mercy? Why double condom a virgin? That's one of the thing about R the RNG in this game. You could have a perfect RNG setup. I mean, you can have a perfect team setup, but the RNG will literally go out its way to ensure that you do not have a smooth run unless your run is super long. Like if you're doing a three to five minute run, they ensure that the RNG don't interfere with you. But if you're trying to do a speed run, they will RNG you to where you will die. I'm just the way they set it up. Uh, nothing special. Nothing special. Attack speed resistant on health. Mm, nothing special. Crit rate attack precision. I actually like this one. I actually like this one. I actually like this one. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just to show you my speed team. Look for some more content to come out more often. Um, let me know if you want to do more dungeon or you want to see the heroes. I said before, we got some heroes to actually review and actually showcase how to properly use these heroes. Like, I think we need to learn. I know the game is new and I'm not the subject matter expert, but I do have ideas on how to properly, properly use these heroes Ready like this ever character right ever needs to be on <laughs> curse she need to be on the curse gear i forgot that i had a the, my best curse gear on ever i really forgot i thought i had it on marion shadow blood and then i realized that it wasn't ever got my best curse gear this is ever crit damage crit rate Still got focus to do her skill too. Not that's great, but we're not concerned about that. The reason why ever, I should say before the ever video. But every time she goes, she do crit rage. And if you know that every time she have attack up, she goes again. She could just literally just keep going. <laughs> she could just literally keep going just by having curse on her. You need to have curse on ever. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about heroes and what they need to actually have. So until the next one, thank y'all for supporting me. Bye.